Welcome back to some more GeoGuessr, everybody. Uh, I thought we'd have a little more fun with this, and I'll play a couple of uh, history-related GeoGuessr tests, and maybe we'll talk about a little history in the process. Uh, so I found this one here. It's called Places Where History Changed Forever. Now, here's the thing about this one as I'm looking at it. It actually gives us some clues. Uh, it says the years are 79, around 1000, 1492, 1917, 1918, 1939, 1945, 1986, and 1989. I can guess about half of these probably without even seeing the locations. If I'm just, I'm just going to throw it out there. If I'm seeing 79, well, the only thing of any historic significance that happened in 79 AD was the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. So I'm guessing that's what that one is. Around 1000, I don't know what that one's going to be. 1492, of course, we associate with Christopher Columbus, so maybe it's going to be where he landed on San Salvador. Uh, 1917, 1918, probably related to the Great War, World War I. 1939, probably related to World War II. 45, probably related to World War II, the end of. 86, I'm going to guess the Challenger explosion. And 89, that one will be interesting to see. Let's see what happens. I I'm sure most of these are going to be those things. So um, just to be safe, I'm not going to need a whole two minutes, but I'm going to give myself two minutes for these. Um, that's New York City. So right off the bat, I don't know what that has to do with any of the dates we just mentioned. But uh, okay, I mean, that's New York City. That's the new World Trade Center, the, the Freedom Tower, as they call it right there. Um, so that's right down here. Um, Let's back up for a second. So New York City is right here, uh, and there's Manhattan, and it's Lower Manhattan, which would be kind of downtown, as they call it. Um, it's going to be down in this area here. As I zoom a little closer, there's the Trinity Church. If you ever, um, if you've ever seen the movie uh, National Treasure, they find the treasure under Trinity Church. That's the church. Uh, that's where uh, Alexander Hamilton, among others, are buried uh, at Trinity Church. You actually come around the corner from Trinity Church and you can see uh, the tower there. I'm trying to figure out and remember exactly where that tower is. It's actually up here. There we go. So there's the Twin Towers uh, site and there's one World Trade Center there. So where is this in relation to that? I think this is probably right here. I was a little off. I had the wrong angle. So that's 260 yards away. So I lost a point on that one. Not sure what that had to do with any of the dates that he mentioned in the hints, though. Okay, that that looks like Roman ruins. I'm going to guess because he gave us the hint, and I probably would have otherwise not gotten this. Um, I'm going to guess this is in Pompeii. Because Pompeii, of course, was historically destroyed by Mount Vesuvius, which is right here. Uh, in that eruption in 79 AD. I don't know specifically what part of Pompeii this is, but I'm going to guess right in the area that's been archaeologically dug. So, Okay, not too bad. 1,259 yards away. It's actually right here, the uh, ancient Roman arena for gladiator fights. That's a place I'd very much like to visit. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. So this looks like, is that the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin? Oh, I want to go to Berlin, too. That's another place I'd love to visit. Uh, I'm going to guess that's what that is. So that's probably our 1989 hint. Oh, that's an American flag right there. And, of course, that could just be the American Embassy. That's probably why. Which is kind of cool if that's right there at the Brandenburg Gate. I'm sure that's what that is. I don't know exactly where in Berlin the Brandenburg Gate is. Obviously, it's got to be where the Berlin Wall was, so kind of in the center of town. But I haven't been there before, so I'm really not that familiar with Berlin. But I'm going to guess it's like kind of right in this area right here. Let's say like right there. Oh, nice. 26 yards away. Pretty happy with that. That was like the iconic symbol of the Berlin Wall. If you're younger than me, Berlin Wall separated East Berlin and West Berlin. East Berlin was communist. West Berlin was capitalist. Uh, and for a long time, there was a gate between. And the Berlin Wall kept people from going from one side to the other. 
Um, okay, so beach. Uh, looks like a kind of a tropical area. Um, beyond that, no idea where this is. Nor do I know what this has to do with the timeline of events that we've talked about uh, with the with the dates. Um, it's got to be a tropical area. I don't, man, I really don't know. I don't think it's Hawaii because it doesn't look like it's certainly not Pearl Harbor part of Hawaii. That's not like Florida, like uh, 1986 would be kind of the time of the Challenger. And I've been to Cocoa Beach. It doesn't look like that. I'm going to guess that anyway. Ah, uh, see, it was the Bahamas. So that's probably meant to be the around 1,000 time. I have no idea what that was supposed to do with history. Uh, okay, here we go. EC, so this is French. EC means here in French. Um, so this is obviously World War One or, or sometime in World War One. Allemand, that's German. It means German. Here, the... Uh, is this where the Germans surrendered? This might be that park where the Treaty of Versailles was signed. Um, that would be 1918. Versailles is west of Paris. I don't know exactly where that park is. But I'm going to guess that's what we're talking about here. Let's guess kind of in this area somewhere. Oh yeah, oh that's um up here. Okay, so that's that is the memorial to the armistice. But it wasn't anywhere close. It was much further away from Versailles than I thought it was. That oh, that could be just the armistice and not the actual surrender. The surrender was signed in 1919. The armistice was November 11th, 1918. Different, totally different thing. Okay. All right, that wasn't too awful, I guess. Um, I can probably do better, though. Do I dare try it again? I mean, I'm going to the UK in a week, so I feel like I kind of have to do this. Uh, UK football stadiums, here, stadiums, here's the problem. It goes all the way to the eighth tier. If we were just dealing with Premier League and maybe, like, League Championship, I'd probably be okay. But going all the way to the eighth tier, I don't know, man. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's see what happens. Oh, gosh. We're like in somebody's driveway. There's no stadium here. What in the world? How am I supposed to possibly know what this one is? There's not even anything here. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's just guess. We're going to guess. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, what's a good town that I know has a team besides Leicester because that's way too high. Um, how about something like Swinford? I think they have a team in Swinford. Oh, I wasn't even close. Brighton? Well, Brighton's got a Premier League team, Brighton Hove Albion, but I guess that's not what that is. That was the... So that's near the With Dean Sports Complex, but not anywhere close to actually AFC Vardinians. All right. I had no chance on that. All right, here we go. This is a little better. Glamorgan. So that's that's Wales. I actually know where Glamorgan is in Wales. But again, there's no... St oh, there's a stadium. Okay. So what are we talking about here? Cardiff City. Oh, ho, 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 there we go. I know right where Cardiff is. All right, I don't know where the stadium is, though. But maybe I can find it. There's Ikea. If you ever want to know where Ikea was in Cardiff, now you know. Cardiff City, City Stadium. There we go. Um, which side of it are we on? Uh, we're going to, oh, we're not on the McDonald's side. We're going to guess we're on this side over here. All right. Not bad. 220 yards away. All right. There's a hill and there's like a field with no seats or anything. So this is probably like league eight. There's a Scottish flag right there. So we're in Scotland somewhere. Let's see if we can get a name here. I don't know my Scot Scottish teams very well. Scottish Football Partnership. That doesn't help me. We're just going to have to completely guess on this one. Oh, 
Gala Fairy Dean Rovers FC. I have no idea where that is. Oh my gosh. It's in Scotland somewhere. I mean, most of the population of Scotland lives in Glasgow and Edinburgh and in that area, right? So, I mean, I'm probably best to just kind of guess somewhere in that area. And I probably won't be that far off. Let's go Queen's Ferry. Oh, it was down further south. Okay. It wasn't too bad. 2,900 points. 36 miles away. Not bad. Another, like, residential area. This is not helpful at all. Whoever made this test did not put this right where they needed to. Farsley AFC. Welcome to the Throssel Nest. I have no idea where that team is. Oh, this is terrible. I'm clueless. I don't even know where Farsley is. Let's guess it's around Gloucester somewhere. Oh, it was in Leeds. Oh, no, not even in Leeds. It was in between. Farsley is in between Leeds and Bradford. Okay. I'm terrible. All right. Brentford. I know where Brentford is. I think I know where Brentford is. I think I did this last time and I guessed completely wrong. Isn't Brentford in London? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I know there's a team that's down by... Down in the same area where Chelsea is. Uh, I'm probably thinking of Fulham. Where's Brentford? I got this one wrong last time too, didn't I? It's not up around Manchester, is it? Oh, this is terrible. I'm offending all of our UK fans right now because I don't know where Brentford is and I should. It's not around Sheffield? I don't know why I was thinking it was in London. I'm just going to guess that it was in the London area, like uh, North London. It was, it was over on the west side near Chelsea. I was right about that. Uh, not real close to Chelsea, but we have a different idea of what's close in America than you guys do over there in the UK. Um, okay, 4,100. That's okay, I guess. All right, we're going to do another American Civil War one. This is one I haven't done yet. Um, there's only five locations on it, uh, and it says the average score is only 7,450. Um, we do have at least one person who got 25,000 on this one. Um Let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's Harper's Ferry. That's definitely Harper's Ferry. Uh, it's one of the most beautiful sites associated with the American Civil War. That's the Potomac River right there. Looks like we're looking down from where the two bridges cross. So I should be able to get pretty darn close on this one. It's right where, if you're ever looking for Harper's Ferry on the map, just look for where West Virginia, Maryland, and Virginia all come together. And it's right there in that spot. There's those two bridges right there coming across. Uh, this is Harper's Ferry here. So uh, we are looking for something right here where it says Maryland Heights is about what we're looking for. Ten yards away. Yeah, now we're talking. That is the USS Cairo. That's, oh, I've been there. I haven't made, I haven't edited that video and put it up yet, but... I, I know exactly where that's at. And then the National Cemetery is right there. This is Vicksburg. USS Cairo was found on the bottom of the river and dug up and put back together. It's a beautiful historic uh, find, and it's really, really cool. Uh, so the National Cemetery is up on the northern side. There's the USS Cairo Museum. Um, the National Cemetery is over here. So we're actually kind of overlooking this from right about here, I would say. Actually, where's that Navy monument? We can't see it, but there's there's the road right there. So I'm going to guess we're right up in this area right here. 137 yards away, so 49.96. How does somebody get exactly 25,000 on this one? I really would like to know that. All right. Um, that looks like a Tennessee flag with the three stars in the middle, representing the three regions, west, center, and east of Tennessee. Um, so we're talking about somewhere in Tennessee. I don't recognize the spot, though. 
Franklin. Oh, there we go. It's Franklin. Franklin's outside of Nashville. Uh, one of the just most devastatingly awful charges that happens in the Civil War happens when the Confederates uh, charge at Franklin. I guess we're looking right at the square in Franklin. 24 yards away. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, I'm not recognizing this off the top of my head, but I'm sure I will when I get a little bit more of a sense of where I'm at. The picture's kind of blurry on this one. It's not making it easy. Looks like water through there. I'm really not sure where this is. Oh, this is going to completely screw up my my score because it's so blurry that I can't read any of it. Oh, I don't know where this is. It's woods. No idea. Maybe it's somewhere around Petersburg because I haven't been to the Petersburg battlefield yet. So it's possible it could be somewhere in there. I'm going to totally make a guess. Savannah, Georgia. All right. That's Fort McAllister. Never been there. That, that one threw me off big time. Only 42 points on that one. All right, we've got a National Cemetery. Off the top of my head without moving around, it looks like the Chattanooga Cemetery, but I could be wrong. Just the location looks like the Chattanooga Cemetery. Yeah, there's Lookout Mountain right there. This is definitely the Chattanooga National Cemetery. Really cool cemetery. It's where De Desmond Doss is buried. It's where the, the Andrews Raiders are, which was they were the very first Medal of Honor recipients in history. Um, so I'm trying to remember where that is. It's on a hill. There it is right there. Yeah. So we're up right in this kind of center area of Chattanooga National Cemetery. Yep. 54 yards away. So that one stupid one in Savannah is what threw me off. Oh, and I didn't even like finish it to see what my final score was. Um, can I go back and look at it? Is it too late? All right. I feel like I got to redeem myself for the UK people. So we're going to do one more. Uh, and we're going to do, these are all English Premier League teams, Premier League teams from 2020, 2021. That's when West Brom would have been in the Premier League still. So um, actually people did very easy on that one. So I feel like I have no excuses not to do well on this one. As long as I recognize the names of the teams. Everton. Everton is Liverpool. All right. Let's just see how fast I can do this. I don't remember. I don't know exactly where Everton is in Liverpool. There we go. Where's the stadium? Where's the stadium? Where's the stadium in Everton? Oh, Anfield, right? Isn't that the name of the stadium is Anfield? So I would guess it's somewhere in this area. There it is. Oh, no. No, Anfield is Liverpool's stadium. That doesn't help me. Um, where the heck is it? So is Liverpool, is their stadium actually in Everton too? I guess so, kind of. All right, we're just going to guess that it's like right there somewhere. Oh, it was way up there. Okay, so it is actually, so somebody told me they were like on the opposite ends of the same park. Okay, so they really are. That's cool. King Power Stadium, Leicester City, right in the center. That's in the Midlands. And for my American friends, it is not pronounced Leicester or Leicester. It's Leicester. Um, where is that? Where's Leicester City Stadium? I feel like it was like right on the, the river. But I don't know why I'm thinking that. Now we're just going to guess it's like right there. I don't know. Ah, it was way on the south side. It was right on the river. Okay. 4,700 points. Not too bad. Oh, red, 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 red. Blades. That's um, is that Sheffield United. I think Sheffield United's the Blades, right? Yes. Sheffield. That's in the north. On well, central, I guess. Kind of north. N north, More north than London. Um, why aren't any of these stadiums just showing up at this level here? 
I'm just going to guess like right there. Ah, it's way in the south again. 48-26. Okay. Kick racism out of football. Manchester. Is this Man? That's not Man City, is it? Is that the Etihad Stadium? It is. Okay, Man City. I think that's on the west side of Manchester, isn't it? Because Old Trafford's right there. That's where Manchester United plays. I think Man City's like up here somewhere, if I remember right. I probably don't remember right. Um, I got no idea. As long as I don't guess around Old Trafford, right? Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking it was like up in this area somewhere. We'll just guess like right there and see how far off I was. Oh, it's on the east side. All right, totally wrong. I know nothing. Call me Jon Snow. Whoa. All right, random dude with his computer. I thought for a second maybe he was playing football manager there. Um... Is it really not going to let me move from this spot? Am I going to have to guess? Oh, that's Leeds. Oh, I recognize the, the logo. That's Leeds United. Leeds is up the north on the east. Uh, over here. I like Leeds. Their fans seem pretty cool. Um, let's guess like right there. I have no idea where their stadium is. Oh, it's way down. All these stadiums in the south side of the cities for some reason. All right, not terrible for an American who knows nothing. All right, so there you go. I hope that was fun for you guys. Hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through all of that. If you have any requests or suggestions of videos you'd like to see me to do next, just let me know in the comment section below. We'll be back tomorrow with some more reaction videos. Thanks for watching.